and we're back guys thanks for clicking on the channel tennis in a minute i want to thank everyone for all the love and support uh as we just keep growing and growing 2.4 million we're gonna get right into it guys wimbledon day two preview and predictions remember guys this is for entertainment purposes only anything you do is your decision and yours only now before we get into the draw let's talk about coco listen guys coco is one of the biggest names on the channel no secret she's one of the biggest tennis players in the world male or female but listen guys you have to remember she's only 19 and some of the comments that come through here look i don't like blocking people i really i really do not like it but some of you guys you're you're saying ridiculous stuff and looking at the demographics of the channel most people that come here are adults Okay, most of the people that come here are over 30 years old. Okay, guys, I don't allow children on the channel. If you're under 18, you're not allowed on the channel because this is an adult channel. We don't, you know, it's not like it, you know, it's not like there's profanity or anything like that. But some of the comments, they're borderline disrespectful. Listen, guys, any player that makes it inside the top 10 that's not an easy thing to do you're pretty talented any player that does that by the age of 18 is super duper talented okay yes coco lost today but any adult that has common sense and is reasonable understands it takes skill talent and hard work to make it inside the top 10 okay and I'm not sure if some of you guys have ever competed or played professionally or on a college type of level. It's very hard to win. It's very hard to win. And for someone to win so much that they make it inside the top 10, you're pretty good. So for people to diminish the accomplishments of a professional due to one loss by a player that was extremely good. Sophia Kennan is really good by far. She used to be one of my favorite players. She's good. I know her game. She's solid. She's a grown woman. Okay. She's a lot older than Coco. She has a grand slam where she beat Ashley Barty. Come on, guys. She's pretty good. So for you guys to diminish Coco as if she doesn't belong in the top 10 and she's unaccomplished guys come on let's have adult conversations like it's because a lot of these conversations sometimes they're just they're just ridiculous and just to cease a lot of the arguing back and forth over things that like come on guys this isn't this isn't politics anyone inside the top 10 is good that that's non-negotiable it's non-debatable all right so Keep it clean, no profanity, no disrespect. When I see people coming here like disrespecting players to the point where it's like disgusting, you know, if they're doing something on the court that warrants the disrespect, let them have it. But to diminish someone's accomplishments by losing one match, it's a bit childish, right guys? Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player of all time, a lot of people say he only had six championships. All the other years he played, he lost. Yeah, he lost. He only won six titles. He played for a very long time, but he's still the greatest ever. Serena Williams lost to Elisa Cornet multiple times. Elisa Cornet's a 500 player, barely. Does that mean Serena Williams sucks? Iga Swiatek lost to Elisa Cornet. Does that mean she sucks? Come on, guys. Like. Have adult conversations, please. All right, let's get into it. Who do we have first? Anastasia Potapova. She's seated here, taking on Celine Neef. Now, Celine, guys, she's been hot lately, right? She's won seven of her last hand. We, we've seen her come through qualifiers. This is where upsets happen. Look, she beat Venus Williams in uh, her Tojan Bosch. She beat Kat McNally. This is where the upsets happen. When you have someone that is coming through qualifiers, they're playing good tennis. She took out Dayana Yastremska. Maybe another day, Dayana. Now listen, they tried to have another setup. They were going to put Yastremska against Potapova. These matchmakers have no chill. We're going to stay po we're going to take Potapova to get the win here. Just a tougher ball. Uh Celine's going to have to make adjustments, but by the time she figures it out, it might be too late. We like Anastasia to win this matchup. Keja Yuvan. Listen guys, this is Iga Swiatek's best friend. 
she's taking on Badova. This is going to be a really, really good matchup, guys. Um, Kaiser Yuvan, she's won three in a row. She's come through qualifiers. Now she's taking on a wild card here. Now, Betkova is she's from Russia and she's actually she's pretty good guys but she's been off and injured for a while she's coming off of literally four losing seasons and I'll be honest with you this is this is probably a matchup here that's gonna get Keja Yuvon jump started again so she can back get back inside the top 100 get a huge game check get get to the second round we're gonna take Yuvon to get the victory here up next, we have Wong taking on Mira and Dreva, little sister. Now, listen, guys, you probably notice a theme here. If you follow tennis, you notice that Wong in the slam and master events, she's getting a lot of the teenagers. I think it's a coincidence. I don't know. It's interesting, isn't it? Uh, listen, Mira and Dreva, she's, she's really good, guys. Uh, she's only, what, she just turned 16 last month. She took out Vickens Mass, Chloe Potcat, and Tamara Korpash. All pretty pretty solid players, but they're not on Wong's level. Form, former junior number one, former junior slam champion. Wong, she's been playing decent tennis. Uh, she's won five of her last ten. We've seen wins over to Mova, Galfi, uh, Favertova, and Marino. Wong's the underdog here. Um, I'm going to take Wong to win at least one set. That's the pick. Um, it's good value as well, guys. I mean, you have Marin Dreva, who's just got to be honest with you she's overvalued she's inflated but she is pretty good uh the set spread for wong it's a pretty good value i mean you can't you know well the the price of wong to win a set is the price of mirror to win the match it's actually cheaper so we'll take wong to win at least one set i think wong can beat her outright as well uh, Wong has a left down the line that's very strong. She's got grown woman power. Uh, Mira is good because she's able to overpower even a lot of adults. She's very strong, very physical. Um, but we did see her gas out when she played Coco, right? She ran out of gas. She got tired. Wong's a three set type of player. Um, she'll take a set off. She, she'll get tired herself, but she's got a left down the line that's very strong. Uh, I don't think she has the best serve. She does double fault a lot, but so does Mira. So I'll take Wong to win a set. That's a pick. All right, who's next? Heather Watson taking on Barbora Kachikova. Now, listen, guys, a busy day today, to be honest with you. You got a lot going on for the holiday here. Um, so I'm going to speed this up because I'm already behind schedule like crazy. So, um, okay, Heather Watson. She's going to have the home crowd backing her, taking on Barbora Kachikova. And look, I said it. Don't be surprised if a Czech player wins this tournament outright. I just love... I love their type of game. I think it's suited for grass. And look, Krachikova, she's a seeded player. She's uh, the 10th seed here, having a pretty good season. Um, I mean, she's won seven of her last 10. She made it to the Birmingham final. Heather Watson, a little disappointed. She lost to Osorio last time out, even Camilla Georgie. I thought she'd do a little better on grass, but she has won six of her last 10. But I'd like Barbora Krachikova to win this match. That's the pick. All right, who's next? Let's get ready to breeze through this. I don't have time to really research a lot of these numbers. I have a couple numeric locks that I know will win. The rest of these we're just gonna breeze through here. Uh, Rebecca Marino, Big U. Look, I like the first set to go over eight and a half. I think Big U, I say it all the time, she's an over type of player, the same with Rebecca. Rebecca can serve well, she can hold, but she's not a good returner. I like the first set over eight and a half. I would lean with Big U to win the match. Uh, let's see, Anna Blinkova taking on Wickmeyer. Anna was, Anna's playing good. I think she's due for a letdown, but this is a match she should win. I'll take Blinkova, especially getting spanked by Iga. That's how you learn and become a better player. I like Blinkova to win. Vavara and Camilla Georgie. Camilla Georgie, look, she's got a lot of power. She's going to put a lot of pressure on Vavara. Vavara's going to have to hold serve and not make those double faults. But speaking of double faults, Georgie had 10 double faults last time out. I'll take Georgie to get the victory here. This is a winnable matchup for her, but Vavara's going to make her make shots. It's going to be pretty tough. And Arena Sabalenka, I like her to go deep in this tournament, so definitely picking her to get out the first round. Panna's coming back from injuries. She's playing good, but Arena should be too strong. Who's that? Uh, Karolina Mukova, Julia Niemeyer. This is going to be a good match, guys. I could definitely see this match going over. Uh, I'll take the first set to go over 8.5, uh, but I'm going to take Mukova to win the match. 
Uh, let's see who's next. Linda Noskova, Dalma Galfi. Dalma's playing good. She's strong. Uh, she might be able to overpower Linda at times. Uh, I like the first set over eight and a half. That's a pick. Let's see, uh, Madison Bringle and Sarah Irani. This is a winnable matchup for Bringle. Her backhand should be able to overpower Irani at times. And the reality here is, the reality here is uh, I do like, I think, I think Bringle can win this match and get out of the first round. Let's go with Bringle to win this match. Who's, who's the uh, favorite in this match? I have no idea. If I had to guess, they'd probably make They'll probably make Irani the favorite, to be honest with you. Look, I'll take Bringle. Her back end should overpower the little Irani. Emma Navarro taking on Ekaterina. Ekaterina should get past Emma Navarro. Uh, Bernarda Para and Tomova. That's going to be a really tough matchup, guys. I'm going to take Para to get past Tomova, even though that's not going to be easy. But I like Bernarda Para, the crafty lefty down the line. That should get her some points. Katie Bolter and Daria Seville. I don't know how healthy Daria is, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm going to take Katie Bolter to win that match. It's a match she should win. She's playing very good tennis. She's going to have the home crowd backing her. Habino and Lisa Cornet. Uh, that's a match that's going to go over. Uh, I'll take that match to go over. I'll take it to go over 18 and a half games. Uh, I think both players are pretty good shot makers. And if I had to lean with someone winning that match, I would lean with Cornet to win it. Uh, it's a match she should win. But uh, we're going to take the uh, over 18 and a half games. And next up, Shelby Rogers, Elena Rubikina. Wow, they're trying to trip Rubikina up here. This is not going to be a cakewalk, guys, because Rubikina hasn't been as healthy mentally lately. And she's playing Shelby Rogers, who's got a new coach, Iga's former coach. And she's got a good back end, to be honest with you. We'll take the first set. Um, what's, what's, what's the total on the first set? What are they saying here? All right, so they're saying it's going to be a blowout. We'll take the first set to go over. Eight and a half. We're going to see if Shelby Rogers can hold a few games. I do think Rebecca will win the match, but would like the, the first set to go over eight and a half as well. That's the first half of today's matches, guys. Stay tuned for one more video. Tennis in a minute. Show some love. We'll be right back.